tax records. At least check the tax records. And if you see a difference in the name that's on the tax record, those are pretty accurate because there's one thing that these guys always get right at the tax office, and that is the name of the person who pays the taxes, the name of that person. They don't get anything else right. But usually the person paying the taxes owns the property. So check the tax records. And if it's somebody different than the person who is uh, talking to you, ask for an explanation of why these are not the same entity. Okay? Don't just assume that you're dealing with the owner. All right? That's, I, I love that one. Um, uh, short sale fraud. We have all kinds of uh, variations on this, but the most common is the, um, the owner is uh, in desperate straits, wants to get out of this property, has a friend or colleague or family member, typically, somebody they're close to, and you'll see why. Approach the lender about, hey, listen, I know you got a problem here. Don't ask me how I know, but I just know. I know what that property's worth. I know what they paid for it and what their mortgage is. I know they're struck there and they're under stress. Uh, I give you 300 for it and close right now. They owe 350, 38, whatever. I'll give you 300 right now. You don't have to foreclose. You don't have to spend the 60 or 70,000 that you will to insure it and pay taxes and repair it after the vandals get it pay a broker, you're not holding it into a declining market, you don't have to have reserves, all the things that REO does to, to lenders that are negative. I'll give you the money right now. You know what? Some lenders are responding to these inquiries from investors, what would you take right now for me to, to close? They won't do it for you and your buyer because your buyer's going to make it impossible for them to say yes half the time. I want to buy it, but I don't want to let you know I can until after you tell me I can have it. All right? But how about, I got the money and I'll buy it now at 300 and he says okay so you close and then you deed it right back to the seller whose lien is now gone family member right back they owe you instead of the lender but they owe you 300 instead of 380 to the lender all right and if it's family members all in the family may even get forgiven this purges an awful lot of liens and it is i don't have to tell you illegal it's fraudulent we have uh the, the buy and bail um, the person who keeps their credit good, they make their payments, although they're underwater and they want out. Keeping their credit and their payment history pristine while they search for a cheaper house that they want to move into that they can now afford. They get a contract on that house and they prepare to close. The lender says, what are you going to do with this house? Well, I'm going to lease it out. I'm going to manage I'm going to, I'm going to, It's going to be investment property. Or, look here, I've got a contract and they dummy up a contract. And lenders don't pay much attention these days. They're stressed with other things, and they allow it to close. Mystically, the other uh, deal never transpires, and they dump the property. They stop making the payments on the other property. In those states where it's not a recourse, they walk away scot-free, unless somebody's willing to go out for fraud. They can't get them for the lien, or the loan, or the deficiency, but they can get them for fraud. This is common. Hard to prove, though, for obvious reasons. Well, I stopped paying just because I all of a sudden couldn't. Anyway, they have problems in Virginia because we're not a non-recourse state. That's right. Um, and foreclosure rescue, you've all heard of this, uh, where uh, the buyers uh, get a phone call. Well, if these, I'm sorry, the owners get a phone call. They're not hard to identify. You could identify them as easily as anybody. It's public record what they pay and what they owe, and you know what the properties were, or you can find out easily enough. You can determine. So other people can do that, and they've got somebody who's in trouble, and they call them. We'll take care of your problems. Send us $39.99 and for $2,500. And don't call your lender. We'll take over from here. Within a year, we'll have your problem solved. And of course, these people take off to who knows where. Never do anything. Or what they do is just completely desultory and has no effect. The buyer, is, I mean, the, the owner is out, $2,500 or whatever it is, and they get no result. Now, the feds are cracking down on all these, these and all the other kinds of uh, mortgage fraud. Um, and so, if you, as you see these, a, don't participate. B, be sure your agents know how to spot them. C, report. The FBI, if it's uh, national in scope, if you think there's anything more than just within the state, 